So in this video, you'll see why I'm laying down and why I look cracked out. What's up, Tim Sykes, millionaire, mentor, trader, teacher, student of life. Feeling like death. Um, just gave a trading challenge webinar. It doesn't matter how I feel. I am dedicated to my students. They sucked out whatever little energy I had left. Um, enter a comment just below this video if you like me dedicating my life and health to you guys. Say yes or say no. I'm curious. Um, but also leave a comment if you've ever pulled your back before because that's what's happened to me. Um, just landed in Hawaii. Wait, show them the view. Go out to the view. Can they see the view? Oh, yeah. So we're out here in Hawaii premiering my Save the Reef film. By the time this goes up, you'll be able to watch uh, the Save the Reef film. Click the link just below this. We'll put the link. It's on YouTube. You'll see what I've been working on for the past five, six months, what I spent basically half a million dollars producing, trying to get the word out about coral reefs and our oceans and marine life because they're all so important. But this video is just about me in pain because it's a good lesson. I did this to myself. I rushed when I got off the plane. I had a heavy bag. I was flying here from Japan, so I had to go through immigration, and immigration can get so busy, so I was rushing. I was kind of like half awake. I slept from Tokyo to Hawaii. It's a perfect time to sleep. Um, I had a nice flat bed on the plane, still kind of groggy when I'm waking up, trying to rush, and I just took my bag from the overhead compartment. I didn't really like brace my back and I just like crunched something in my back. And I, I screamed, I yelled, I was like, Fah! and I swore and all the little Japanese people were like, you know, they must've thought I was like Godzilla because I was like double the size and I was roaring, but I knew something had happened. Then I rushed out of there quickly and I was just like, ah, oh, I need to get through immigration because I had to edit this Save the Reef documentary. This is why I bring it up. I'm not complaining. I need you to understand my mindset. I was rushing because I wanted to get through immigration because I had a big project and we ended up also editing for like 26 hours sitting on a couch. That probably wasn't the best thing to do for the first 24 hours after this injury. Um, but the lesson that you can learn is don't rush. We take so much in life for granted. You take your back, being able to walk for granted. You take being able to breathe for granted, which you don't realize coral reefs matter because the vast majority of the oxygen we breathe comes from the marine life in the oceans. You think it's from trees? Trees are actually the minority. The oceans are the majority. Um, they're both important, but we take it all for granted. Like we're just sitting here, I'm sitting here, you're probably sitting there, just breathe in. Breathe out. So easy, right? In a few years, it might not be that easy. And we'll think back like, why didn't we, you know, appreciate what we had? And you don't realize, you know, kind of what you have until it's gone. Um, that's the same with, you know, money and, and trading and education and, and love and life. And this is why we created Karma Gawa. Oh my God, that hurt just to reach for this hat. This is my Karma Gawa hat. Karma Gawa is my charity community, formerly known as the Timothy Sykes Foundation, but I want it to be a community because it's not just about me. I got tired of like building schools with my name on it. I'll never get tired of building schools, but it just felt weird. Um, we have 53 schools built now. Click the link just below. I'll post the link if you want to get a Karma Gawa hat or t-shirt, or now we have shorts too uh, for Save the Reef. It gets donated to helping the charities so you're helping raise money and when you wear it you can tell the story of what it's all about um go follow karma gala go follow save the reef uh on instagram but most importantly just appreciate what you have whether you have a lot or whether you have a little um the fact that we're alive the fact that you know you're able to breathe the fact that you have your friends or your family even if you're totally broke and you, you can't appreciate money because you have none um, that's fine. I've been to some crazy third world countries where the people have nothing. And yet, like in Laos, this one little girl hugged my leg. She had absolutely nothing. No money whatsoever. She was smiling, 
she was just happy to be alive and she was happy that you know her family was alive and that's good it's it's good to get like these perspective changes every now and then it's not good that i hurt my back and now i can't really move it hurts um that's not good but i do appreciate the mindset shift that i now have when i have when i'm like incapacitated like this and hopefully you don't have to you know pull your back or uh, throw your back, whatever it's called. Is it pull your back or throw your back? Either I th or. I threw my back. I pulled my back. I don't know. Um, leave comments with some uh, <laughs> suggestions on how to heal my, my back. Um, I'm open to anything. I already got acupuncture and cupping. I got some um, Tiger Balm. I'm, I have some crazy painkillers. Um, just be grateful. That's today's lesson because it can go by very quickly. Cheers, have a good day. Hey, Tim Sykes, millionaire mentor and trader. Thank you for watching my videos. I hope that they help you. I wanna share everything that I've learned over the years. You can check out more videos right over there and also click subscribe so that you can watch all of these videos, get that knowledge and become my next millionaire student.